Um, you know the guy from uh, Calvin Nice's part. Yeah, yeah, the the, the, the yeah. Oh, I like them as Step Brothers. Oh, they were hilarious. Oh, was, was that Step Brothers was so that was stupid. That I was like. I love Step Brothers. That I yeah. Mean, yeah. All of that yeah. shit was a, you know was an attempt to be dumb and dumber. Right, exactly. That, that shit was go old. That shit. Right. <laughs> ridiculous. That is just ridiculous. Um. What? Oh. You're some good ass OG. What is that? OG. <laughs> some. <coughs> OG Kush. <coughs> I call OG Kush. Never fails. It never fails. Never fails. Really At what moment do you realize you're like? getting high is it instant no it's like i have a picture in my head mm-hmm. donald trump okay and i have a, a picture of me slapping the shit out of it. it's like it's a whole thing uh-huh. and as i smoke weed it goes from me slapping the shit out of him to me just going up to him and whispering in his ear you are a bitch just like that And the bitch goal is ass to say, tweeting liar. Men don't tweet, <laughs> bitch. Men don't tweet, bitch. <laughs> they use Twitter to inform people of shit, but they you tweet, motherfucker. Did you hear what he said about Baltimore? Yeah. What did he say now? What he, oh, he said uh, it was, was fucked up. Yeah, like he it was, is. Baltimore is fuck. Come on, y'all. You can't hold a guy. Come on now. You want a guy to lie? You want to tell the truth? Baltimore, be more careful. Don't front, Baltimore motherfucker. They said it's fucked up out here. Excuse me, excuse me. Hey, excuse me. You should step in the trash. Baltimore is fucked up. But that's not for the president to say. Well, he said it was a disgusting, rat and rodent infested place where no human being would want to live. That's what he said. Them niggas in Baltimore don't want to live there. <laughs> they don't want to live there. No. Y'all just fuck with y'all, Baltimore. I love Baltimore. Baltimore is. What I like about Baltimore is the people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My daughter, uh, she went to school in uh, the Goucher College. Okay. So she spent a lot of time in Baltimore. Mm-hmm. She even started a stand up career in Baltimore. She right. goes hard, too. But right. Baltimore is a tough city, man. Yeah. That's the Ravens. That's that's a, that's a tough little city, man. Right. Yeah. But you that's know? not, I mean, all of, I mean, obviously it has, every city has these yeah. tough yeah. areas, you know. Baltimore, they go hard, though, on the bullshit, on the mm-hmm. raggediness. Let's uh-huh. keep it 100. <laughs> They're they more raggedy than shit. the average. But it ain't their fault. I don't blame the people. Mm-hmm. It's the motherfucking. It's it's obvious that the administration, that the people that run Baltimore, are corrupt than a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You can't tell me they're not. Right. Corrupt, man. Right. It's obvious. Your right. city is is got fucking blocks of boarded up beautiful buildings. Yeah. Buildings is yo. If they if they went in and and did what was supposed to be done and took care of people there, they wouldn't be fucked up. Right. Yeah, it is fucked up. And he said it, and let's get to why is it fucked up? Why is it uh, uh, rat infested, fat boy? Mm-hmm. Why is it? Right. You fucking lumpy face fuck. It's, it's no, uh, because it's no uh, secret why major urban areas are the ones right. that are the, you know, fucked so up. Why, you know, you so, see what I'm yeah. saying? I'm, I'm getting ticked off that we're pointing out the dumb shit the retarded nigga says. Mm-hmm. He's a right. fucking moron. What, right. what, we could be here all day, man. Yeah. I'm tired of this dumb shit. Get this fucking, get, get this motherfucker's helmet put back on him and get him on that fucking short bus he fucking stumbled off of. Get his helmet put back this motherfucker's on supposed to have a fucking body leash. I he's agree. not supposed to, he's supposed to have handlers. He doesn't have handlers. He's got motherfuckers that manipulate his dumb ass and they're cheering the fuck off because they didn't got a re-re up in there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I'm tired of playing like it's not, man. Exactly. These motherfuckers, oh, you know what he said? Yes, he said some of the dumbest shit in the world, as always. 
Mm-hmm. What the fuck is new? Yeah. Nothing's new. And now it's like you're starting to piss me off, piss us off. You're pissing us off because we know that the motherfucker's not even supposed to be in there. Mm-hmm. He should have been gone. And Peach, this motherfucker shouldn't even have been in there. Right. And fucking Russians did this. Another mm-hmm. country. You see, that shit hits a nail with me because you got to remember, I'm a motherfucking Cold War veteran. Mm-hmm. I ain't yeah. yeah. I actually stood, faced Russian soldiers. I did that. Right. I did that. I was trained to know that Russians was the motherfucking enemy. Oh, no, that's the CCP. What is it? The CCCP? Or, uh, yeah, or yeah, the yeah. USSSR? Right, 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 right. Nah, nigga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the mother. It's, and you know what? They was doing good. But then the Russians are fucking gangster society like Americans are gangster society. Yeah. Oh, they're I very mean, gangster. Like, yeah, they're gangster. But they, but you, you see, that's the shit that kills them. They're not more gangster than us. Right, the United States is just as gangster. Not yeah. just as, Linda. Or, okay, you're saying more more than anyone else. Yeah. We yes. are the yes. gangsters. We are. Okay, yes. okay. We are. Okay. And I'm sorry, uh, you can't be no, you got a retard. So the real gangsters right now, they're, they're not no real bosses. They're a bunch of fucking second and third men that got a fucking re-re in charge and they're having a ball. Mm-hmm. They're teeing off with each other. And see, if it was a real boss, they would say, I, 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 motherfucker, you're fucking up the big picture. Yo, don't tell me shit about voting. Don't tell me shit about the president-elect. Don't tell me shit about none of that shit. It's all being exposed for the bullshit that it is. Yeah, I agree with that. There's no, hey man, the gangsters have left America, man. The the gangsters that got us here are out of here, baby. The motherfuckers they left are some sub puss ass (laughs) motherfuckers. These are yes men that now gotta say so. Get them out of here. Exactly. There's not a, I, I, Colin Powell, come on, come on, General. Just put your fucking nuts down, General. Go up in there and slap some motherfuckers up. You and fuck. Where's Cheney? Yeah. Where the fuck is Cheney? You ain't heard shit from this guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, cause you g'd the fuck off. You don't give a fuck. Fuck that. Be the boss you claim to be, motherfucker. Right. Clean up your fucking family. These niggas is run amok. They got a retard up in the driver's seat. <laughs> you think this bus isn't gonna crash? Yeah. Exactly. This motherfucker's fucking up left turns trying to grab pussies. <laughs> and everyone's surprised? You know who this is? I'm not surprised? Come on. And why are we here? Because you tried to put that old crow face manipulative bitch, what's her name? Dusty ass fucking old old dust. I call her oh, dust. Old dust. Hillary. The dust. Are Hillary. You refer- are you referring yeah. to Hillary? Yeah, Hillary's ass. <laughs> Exactly. Just keep it 100, goddammit. Put the fucking Jew boy in the seat. Okay. Let's see Bernie. You want shit to be on time with money and bills? Put him up there. Like I am. Let's go. You're talking about business, motherfucker. Right. World business. Right. <laughs> Do these motherfuckers lack skills? Oh no. I don't care if you get offended. Oh let's God. start the show. I'm, 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 let's, let's start this the show. This show started, Linda. Okay. All right, hey, yeah. welcome. Wait, Go hey, ahead. everybody. Okay. Welcome to Freeze Talk. Hey, talk hey I'm Freeze Love. Yeah. Welcome to the motherfucking Freeze Talk show. I am yes. your host, comedian Freeze Love. <laughs> right. What up, everybody? What up? We have our co-host, Linda Hamlin <laughs> Denton. We have the mad laugher, Ray Denton. The laugher's journeyman, Mr. Dominique Brown. Okay, okay. now, I was Go on ahead. a rant. You were. Yeah, yeah. Now continue. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> It was a good rant. It was the fucking realization that, God damn it, it's time. <laughs> Look, get the dumb dumb out of here. Quit playing. I mean, and you know what that, that entails. You're going to have to storm some kind of office, something. You just got to go in there, start grabbing well, motherfuckers' phones. It worked phones. in Puerto Rico. They just did it in Puerto Rico. They you got the what? president out of there. You see? Probably, yeah. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> now, how come that's Puerto Rico? Right. That's a part of us. Yeah. But not the president. No, I mean the governor. The, the governor. governor. They yeah, got yeah. the governor up out of there. Now, right. now, you see what I'm saying? Right. 
Yeah, because he's playing that bullshit. They were lacing, lacing. I don't know what you're going to say, but I'm going to tell you, if you think you're going to be here and say one thing and then go to the States and do something different, mm -hmm. no. Right. It's no. not going to happen. No. No. It's not going to happen. Yo soy Puerto Rican. Don't forget, fuck the Jews. <laughs> fuck the Jews. <USA. laughs> Fuck them. Because you have to be on this island. You know, when they at the island, they talk just like Dominicans. Nah. <laughs> when motherfuckers get to New York, that's when they be forgetting a lot right. of the Espanol. Yeah. When motherfuckers speak English with two or three Spanish words. In it. Hey, Mira, Mira, check this out, bro. Tu sabe. Listen. No, no, shh, callate la boca, mommy, shut the fuck up while I'm going to oh, explain God. to him. Okay, so, mañana, tomorrow, I'm going to come, you know, it's like, yeah. yeah, if you said it in English, why you said it in Spanish? <laughs> angel? Oh, hey, angel. don't worry, I'm He's speaking, an angel. I, I speak Spanglish. <laughs> yeah. Motherfuckers, Puerto Rican speaks, they, shh. You can't fuck with Dominicans in Spanish. Them motherfuckers <laughs> speak Spanish like parrots. <sighs> Fast, super hyper, like that. <laughs> Spanish is hard. I'm trying to learn. It's Spanish. not easy. Don't say you're trying to learn. I Spanish am trying to learn Spanish. LA. So I you're am. You're not trying. You want to try to learn Spanish? Go down to fucking the fucking bus station and walk home. Yes. You'll be a fucking fluent motherfucker. <laughs> Por favor, donde este McDonald's? <laughs> Go to the bus station, walk home. You will come an, across enough Mexican. You have to engage. Eres el mejor. And there's so many. Mean a mucho papaloso. I think that means mucho papaloso. Mucho papaloso. I'm yeah. learning phrases that I try to remember. If you speak English, you should be able to speak German, French, and Italian, and Spanish. All of those shits is pretty much the same. Where English is where everything goes left. This yeah, shit, but English is the hardest to learn, right? Yeah, because yeah. it's well, different yeah, I shit mean, gaffled for it's, right, the, it's right. according to American tradition, we gaffle up shit. Yeah, know? yeah. So we and, and the English we speak compared to the English, it's two different shits. Them motherfuckers. Well, being immersed helps. They so talk like old to... fashioned times. <laughs> hey, that was good, man. Top of the morning, tell ya. All of that top of the morning, nigga. The morning is top. What the fuck you got to say top of the morning? What? Right, oh, right. You know. Well, okay, so I got to do a couple of different ways to go. Well, one thing that's annoying me, which has annoyed me forever, but I don't, un I mean, recently they just um, put up a bulletproof memorial sign of em for memorializing Emmett Till in um, uh, and <coughs> the sign is it's near the Tallahatchie River. And it's been shot up so many times that they've had to uh, put up a, uh, a bulletproof sign. And okay. recently there was some fraternity brothers who had their rifles and took pictures in front of the sign and all of that. And it just, I, don't, I, I mean, I guess I get it, but I don't, I don't get it. It's like <laughs> to shoot up the sign, you have to do it because that says you didn't give a fuck about him until you don't give a fuck about black people and what we care about or whatever. That's your way of of trying to right. well, let the world know listen, that. Listen, man, you got to remember, anything, anytime you pull that trigger, mm -hmm. you are, I'm sorry, that's a coward. The core of a gun is cowardness. Mm -hmm. The gun chain, if it wasn't for the gun, we wouldn't even be dealing with these motherfuckers, yeah. Euro European motherfuckers. Yeah. All of these niggas got where they are because they had guns. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's why I fuck with guns. Because I know who I'm fucking with. Yes. And mind you, my condolences to everyone involved in Gilroy. We've spoken about Gilroy. Oh, my goodness, here yeah. Here on this show. Yes, with the exactly. Garlic and, the, the, yeah. and, you know, and here we are. We got to, you know, we're putting bulletproof. Yeah, we, we have a gun problem in this country. Right. Period. Mm -hmm. Now, do I know the solution? I don't. Am I, you know, one of these people who says, hey, man, let's just, let's just everyone turning their guns. I already know, motherfucker. No. 
Look how yeah. motherfuckers pay taxes. When right, they say right, your right, money. right. So what kind of loophole? Yeah. The brokest motherfuckers will be giving up all, all their, their guns, guns, and the rich motherfuckers, well, exactly. according to us, Section J nineteen seventy seven. South Paragraph forty two. I'm allowed to keep yeah. my guns. See, so I know how that yeah. works. Yeah. So I'm just saying, I don't. I really don't know. I say. Get yourself a 50 cal and wait, baby. Just stack it up. Let's good. Wait. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not forgiving. I don't know. Don't you know, that's, that's a funny little thing to say because I'm a comedian. But on the real for real, what the fuck, man? Mm-hmm. That, you know. Keep them and learn how to shoot them because uh, just having them. But uh, I, I'm a proponent of having your being armed. I am, too. I believe that you should not be afraid of a gun, man. No. You got a, it's a tool. It's like this motherfucking ashtray. It has a use. Mm-hmm. You use that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? A gun is a tool. It has a use. If you don't know how to use it and you don't know what it is, it'll fuck you up. Right. Just grabbing it and pulling it, well, somebody could get killed like that. Right. Being afraid of it. <sighs> nah, man. It's a, you grab, you learn how to take this motherfucker apart. You learn how to clean this shit. Learn every little piece's function of it. This is a tool, okay? And um, there's all kind of shit. There's a lot of responsibility that comes with mm-hmm, this tool. Mm-hmm. Indulge in the responsibility because it's for your own fucking good. Right. Yeah. If you're going to have them around, and I, you know, I'm not one of these guys that says, hey, man, I do not believe. I don't like these shits. I don't like them to the point that I motherfucking make sure I know what to do with them. Right. My master of these niggas. Mm-hmm. Not all of them, just a select few. <laughs> Just a select few. The ones that I know. <laughs> sufficient for what I'm going to face. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I hear you. I and, hear you. And, 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 you know, but it understand that a gun is a coward. That's a tool of a coward. And that's why it's so fucked up. Before the gun came and it was about these, motherfuckers weren't doing shit. That's why when I went to fucking New Zealand, New Zealand is a, is a dope motherfucking country. Mm-hmm. New Zealand is, is, is from what the guy who was Maori, that was the tribe of the people that were in, you know, that were on that island. Mm-hmm. You know, they're Polynesian, they're Maori, all the Hawaiians, the, all those islands, well, Maori is the biggest uh, civilization mm-hmm. of Polynesians. Okay. To my understanding, I can mm-hmm. be wrong, you know, I don't want right. to, I do not want to piss off any Tungans. <laughs> <laughs> or some more, oh, you say, yeah. they're the biggest, uh, that's bullshit, homeboy. Uh, we're the biggest, you know, I don't know. Uh-huh. But Maoris is some big, they're the ones who paint their face, right. and they stick their tongue out. Mm-hmm. You know why they stick their tongue out, right? No, I... They stick their tongue out because they're saying, I can't wait to taste you. Oh, damn. It's like they that. don't consider their enemy dead until they defecate you. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Damn. That tongue is like, I can't wait to taste you, nigga. I'm going to kill you and sop you up, nigga, like, like a biscuit, nigga. Oh. That's how they did. That's some other type shit. Right. Okay. Those motherfuckers, they had the, uh, there's a, I got a picture of me and Charlie Murphy holding the, the weapon that they had. We got some wooden ones, but they had mm. these weapons made out of jade. And okay. that was their main motherfucking weapon for combat. Okay. And it was just them and that little motherfucking sharp ass club. It's some other shit. We'll, we'll put it up. I'll send you the pictures. You can put it up. But that weapon was enough to keep the motherfucking white imperial, uh, you know, the motherfucker who's trying to make, who made New Zealand a part of their empire. Uh-huh. But they did it only when the guns showed up. Right. Because when them guns wasn't around, yeah. they, they was getting mopped the fuck back. They was they, they had no chance. With those little sticks. So they got a statue of the last emperor of of New Zealand who, who I believe died of natural causes. Mm-hmm. And he's holding that. that it's that, a mirror? A, a mirror? Let me see it. Like this? Uh, uh, let's see. The, this, this one, right. That one. Okay, yep. wait, hold on, I'll show you. Yeah. Uh. That shit right there was the last, uh, I would say, weapon on a mass level mm-hmm. uh-huh. to go against and that was on the a, gun. On a stick. No, they had it with their hands. Mainly it was a handheld. Oh. Yeah, you see how that is? Uh-huh. That's the bottom right there. Okay, and, and they, you can... 
that thing oh. is, is blessed. Is is they got a point at the bottom. There's there's like a face. Uh-huh. This oh, wow. this supposedly looking when you're not looking. <laughs> yeah, man. They, and they was they yo they they the New Zealand is constitution is the only constitution in the entire world where they actually merged the law of the indigenous people with the colonizers. Mm. They didn't, it's not all, their, their law is they, partly, right. their, you know, it was emergence. Yeah, it wasn't, you're you know, not going to come in and wipe out, wipe yeah, out our, like, our no, traditions and ways. That's just gonna, not how it's okay. in this constitution. Yeah. Our tribal rules and laws well, are going to have to be a part. It ain't going to be you dominating. Yeah. Right? Okay. You can live here with us and we can get down together. You can wave any fucking flag you want, but you know what that motherfucker is. <laughs> don't get it. So don't get it twisted. And they, hey, they, when you get married over there, if you marry one of them, they give you land right off the bat. Uh-huh. But you got to marry the Maori woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't, don't. Hey. Don't. Yeah. I don't I'm, <laughs> to each his own. To each his own. Beauty, beauty in the eye of the beholder. That's yeah. <laughs> so stupid. Ah. <laughs> All I'm saying is the Maori women and the Maori men, men a lot of y'all look very much alike. Like the only thing, it ain't even necessarily a ponytail, because some of you fellas got ponytails. It's just like, it's really just like you got to go on a lot of people's word for it. So this is your sister. All righty, ma'am. You know? Oh, my goodness. Hey, but, hey, you can get come up on some land. Oh you think God. you can come up on some land? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good in my motherfucking apartment with my wife. I give him a lot of props, but you see that gun. That gun is what has allowed yeah. these motherfuckers to dominate this uh, planet. Because yeah. mm-hmm. that gun, that gun is a motherfucker. Think about, just think about the whole concept. Mm-hmm. I'm going to kill you from over here. Right, from afar. There you go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like. Yeah. The same motherfucker that was throwing rocks invented the gun. His little arm got tired. Mm-hmm. And he came up with an apparatus. Man, I'm talking about, you know, I respect the, the cultures and the, and the origins of culture where motherfuckers was head up, toe to toe. Right. Mano y mano, motherfuckers. The mm-hmm. best man standing. That, but, but you know, dumbness evolved into motherfucking guns. Because yeah. you, lo- you you kept that same attitude like you was going to be going head up. Right. Mm-hmm. But you're not. You're across the street, man. Right. right. What does that need, though, to, like, defeat it's, it's somebody? It's pussy. It, like, to me, all of these mass shooters, every single one of them, is, it, it's like, we, we, we put these motherfuckers like there's some ultimate villain. Mm-hmm. Someone, you know, to be horrified. Yo, tell it like it is. This is the definition of the ultra pussy. Mm-hmm. Ultra, mm-hmm. ultra pussy. You want to kill a lot of people, but you can't. You can't, pussy. Mm-hmm. You can't deal with people, so you just want to eliminate them, and you know you're going to get killed at the end. Right. It's your little weak-ass motherfucking way of leaving. Mm-hmm. And you just want to hurt, but you can't hurt, so you can get a gun and you can hurt. You're a puss. Mm-hmm. It's pussy dumb. You have to show, hey, hey, kids, hey, listen, Tommy, Billy, Sue, this is a pussy. <laughs> Teach it in school. Do you want kids to grow up, see? But we don't have that. We we cater to pussies. Mm-hmm. We make sure that they have their juices in the right bag. And we make sure that, that they have all of the antibiotic napkins. And, antibiotic. and the, antibiotic oh, we napkins. can have <laughs> peanuts in this area. Oh, man, this is motherfucking life. Yeah. Motherfuckers gonna eat peanuts on the plane next to you, bitch, and you're gonna break out. And if you break out because the motherfucker ate peanuts next to you, take the bus. Get <laughs> your own car. You can't go. You can't go, motherfucker. Just do it. Take the bus. Oh, peanuts fuck you up? You walk in the room, and if there's peanuts in there, you break out? Well, motherfucker, stay at home, bitch. Right. Right. It's the world, we cater to this. Yeah. And it shouldn't, because that's a lie. Mm hmm. And that's what the little pussy knows. Yeah. So their only motherfucking thing that just sold pussy 
They hurt so bad. They just want to hurt everybody. Right. That's like the whole concept of taking dodgeball out of school because there were people. And there, I just saw a story where a 10-year-old kid got charged with assault for playing dodgeball. And it's <laughs> yeah. like, that's it's like yeah. Stupid. And it was, of course, the kid who got charged. First was off, and first the kid who got off, hit was white. You have generations of motherfuckers. <laughs> You grew up on dodgeball. Yeah, right. But that slap of that ball did hurt, I will say. You're goddamn right. They taught you how to be quick <laughs> on your feet. Right. They taught you how to be alert on the field. <laughs> yeah. That shit can come from anywhere. You keep your head right. on a swivel. That's right. It was good exercise. Yeah. Dodgeball is great, and they get rid of it. Yes. Yo, man, right. whoever said get rid of dodgeball, get rid of them. Mm-hmm. Whatever council voted that, get rid of that council. It's bullshit. Right. It's a waste of time to even vote on some shit like yeah. that. Get the fuck away from the school, man. Mm-hmm. Let your kid get his ass kicked once in a while. Mm-hmm. Let your kid kick somebody's ass once in a while. Because mm-hmm. this is what life is. Right. Life is nothing but getting your ass kicked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And getting back up. And getting back up. Right. This mother, you see, they yeah. teach motherfuckers to avoid an mm-hmm. ass whooping. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When in fact... Life is a pure ass whooping, man. Yeah. Shit goes down. The, the, you, the only thing you can compare it to is the feeling after you have had your ass whooped. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tired, depressed. <laughs> it's like, I dizzy. Wanna, right, yeah. dizzy, yeah. disoriented. <laughs> Hearing an echo, huh? Yeah. <laughs> free, free. <laughs> free, free. <laughs> free, 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 free. <laughs> Some of them, some of them, some of them, whoop, 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 your ass, ass, No, 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 no. I got a bill, 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 bill. Yeah. This shit is for your ass. This is life is an ass right, woman, man. Right, right. Who, who can make it? Who can make it? See, and that's how come motherfuckers with money are so fucked up. Yep. Mm-hmm. Because you think money will stop you from you like I have money. Yeah. What am I doing getting my ass whooped? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, motherfucker, it's unavoidable. This is about getting your ass whooped. Yeah. It's just like boxing. Mm-hmm. You know why Mike Tyson is one of the greatest boxers? Because he can get his ass whooped and keep coming. He can get his ass whooped and not get off track. Right. An ass whooping isn't going to defeat, de- destroy him. Right. You see, it's, mm-hmm. it, that's where it starts. If you're going to be a warrior, man, you, you're going to get your ass whooped. Right. Life, I'm talking to shit, and I, I'm getting my ass whooped right now mm-hmm. in life. Mm-hmm. Shit that is like, I don't even, it's just life, motherfucker. It's unavoidable. Right. You don't give a fuck how popular you are. No. You don't give a fuck how your whip is fly, nigga. I don't give a fuck about your hit song. I don't give a fuck that you just got signed. I don't give a fuck that you just hit the lottery. None of that shit. None of that shit You will let you dodge this shit called life. So, so, stop training motherfuckers how to avoid mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. And start preparing motherfuckers like, okay, you just got your ass whooped, but it ain't over. Mm-hmm. That's key. It's not over. Yes. This it bill's going to set you the fuck back, but it ain't over. Yep. Yes, motherfucker. You thought it was going to go this way, but it went that way, but it ain't over. Mm-hmm. You're not writing the story, motherfucker. You, that's the illusion we put ourselves under. Right. I'm running and I plan to go to. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I don't give a fuck where right. you plan to go. That don't right. mean you going. I think the most satisfying moment for me, like in a situation like that, is being able to remember and look back and go, all that stuff that seemed like it was going to kill you, you're here and that's behind you. And, you know, you're still moving forward. So it, it, when you put yourself in the, allow yourself to have that retrospective, it makes a big difference in yeah. letting yourself know that and, you can keep going. And that, to me, it's all about letting yourself know because nobody else, man, as much as people love you, as much as they care for you, as yeah. much as they're rooting for you, man, no one gives a fuck about you. Man. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, right. if you I got you. people in your life that give a fuck about you and you give a fuck about, cherish. Yes. Cherish mm-hmm. each other. Yeah. You know, I have people in my life 
that I know give a fuck about me. Mm-hmm. And I give a fuck about them. Man. On a whole humanity, I do give a fuck. Right. Because I look at myself as being connected to this humanity. Well, we are. <laughs> exactly. Like, to the point that I believe humanity is a fucking, is one living organism. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. That's true. You know, that's how I was raised. Right. To, with that thought in mind. Like, one cell. If you look at all of us as being really one cell, mm-hmm. there's so much shit that, That's true. that we put in front of us like it's going to make a difference. That's true. And it's all just an idea, motherfucker. We really don't know what's going to make a difference. Mm-mm. We really don't. And motherfucker, you think you know is uh, That's a young motherfucker. I, right. Because I know when I was young, I thought I knew. Mm-hmm. Of course. A gang of shit. And then the right. then you find out, yeah, I did. And none of that shit was important at all. <laughs> exactly. None of it. Like when you look back in the things that you just thought were the most important things in the, the world and they don't even come close. Man. And then it gets to the point with me where I look at motherfuckers that I love. Uh-huh. And I see them doing shit that I know. I just see it. It's like motherfuckers. You want you say something, but then you realize, wait, 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 wait. Mm-hmm. What the fuck am I saying? Mm-hmm. There's plenty of people that told me. Yep. And you're you're not gonna listen to you listen. Right. Nigga, look at your motherfucking slacks. Huh. <laughs> yeah. you think I'm listening to you. Hey. hey. With those shoes? <laughs> what are those? <laughs> what's All something? That? What's something that you thought was really important? Um, you know, in the past, and then you had the moment of realization that that's the dumbest thing I could have ever thought was important. Mm. Wow. <laughs> these aren't high people questions. Yeah. He said these aren't high These people are people that aren't high fucking right. with high people. Right. Right. <laughs> I mean, like, was it money? Was it money? Was it having a certain car? Was it uh, having... I know you're not a jewelry guy, but was yeah, it, you know, know, or being in a certain, having a certain status? I, I don't know, man, because shit, there's so much shit I've had my fucking mind blown on. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, um, <laughs> that's a good question because yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a question that I have to answer with respect. Mm-hmm. You understand? To right. the question. Yes, yes. You know, I could say money, but I do know that money is important in this society. You can't kid yourself and say that that you'd be playing yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's important. Is it the most important? I've never felt that anyway. Right. I've, I've, I've had a pretty good, you know, mm-hmm. I thank mom and pops for that. God bless y'all. Thank you. Because they, they wasn't on that. They was like, look, man, money come and go. Mm-hmm. It's what you do with it. It's being in the right frame of mind to fuck with money. Mm-hmm. It's fucking with it the right way. You know, I know the money. I look at money like niggas just say, I'm a pimp. Nigga, I'm a pimp. Nigga, right. Nigga, hey, bitch. Hey, what the fuck? Hey, you're a clown to me, homeboy. Right. Mm-hmm. Until you pimping them motherfucking dead white men in your pocket, don't talk to me about being a pimp because that's pimping. Mm-hmm. When you take them dollars out, slap the shit out them bitches and put them out there, bitch, go bring me some more bitches just like you. Quack, quack, quack. That's <laughs> pimping. So if you're going to be a pimp, then... Bitch, you better be on Wall Street or some shit like that. Right. Mm-hmm. That's pimping. Anything mm-hmm. else is you playing. You playing like you're a pimp. Right. You claiming it, but you ain't doing it. Mm-hmm. Taking a woman. Man, that's her pussy. If she want to sell that motherfucker, that's on. What's you, nigga? You got a dick. Yeah. Slang that motherfucker then, if that's what it is. Right. What the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? And then slang it to slap some motherfucking dead president. Right. 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 Exactly. You don't want. To, come on, man. Right. But. That's just my humble opinion <laughs> as a motherfucking like comedian. comedian. Yeah. Right, I knew that was I know it's a lot of pimps out there like, fuck you, you free. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, you toddler dressed motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas' hats and shoes and, oh, and, oh. and that shaky <laughs> and all that shit, man. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Your shit is laid out on your motherfucking pimp bed. <laughs> Like just like a toddler, nigga. Outfits. He's like a toddler. You got a closet full of outfits, nigga. <laughs> yeah. 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 You think you're doing something when you put put the hat and shoes with something else? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wear the motherfucking. I'm gonna wear the chartreuse. 
Short set. <laughs> yeah, the chartreuse short, short set with the aqua velva blue socks. <laughs> Wait a minute, why am I figuring this out? Hey, bitch! <laughs> Put me an outfit together. <laughs> Fuck out of here, nigga. That's what toddlers do. Toddlers wait for their mommy to dress them, nigga. <laughs> Oh, okay, well, see, now, that's niggas a good segue. Niggas hustle, a lot of niggas are free snorkel, niggas hustle. I think it's Yeah, whatever, nigga. Speaking of outfits. You'll be the first motherfucker that'll knock my hustle if I come rob you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he robbed me. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. I'm just my hustle, nigga. So, speaking of outfits, um, so, P. Diddy, 49. <laughs> Is this now, energetic wait, fella. is now dating 22-year-old oh. Lori Harvey, Steve Harvey's stepdaughter. And they were caught uh, in a photo where they had on matching stripe. She had on a stripe outfit. He had on some stripe shorts. She's smiling. He looks as if, he, as if he's a bit stunned by the paparazzi having caught them in the photo. But the story with this whole situation is she used to date his son, Justin. Oh. <laughs> yes. So everyone is kind of like, "What's going on here?" And and Ooh, they're apparently that. Oh, you know did you get yourself? Kid, I caught that bitch. Oh. Uh, that I'm gonna hit it again. Right. <laughs> get it, get it, get it, get it. Cali, nigga. What the fuck? Right, but is that not a? That's just. I go, well, you can put the photo up, but the look on his face is kind of like. But the whole thing is, he, she dated his son. How now old is he? she he's she's twenty two. How old is he? Forty nine. Hey, you know, look. <laughs> you can say, yo, I don't, I don't um, age and all of that. I don't right. Give a fuck about that. Well, it's more the dating of the son that seems a little. That's lot what's fuck. Yeah, right, right. That's what's fuck. Uh, my man, you know how many broads it is in the world. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Come a, on, man. Yeah. There's some old nasty shit, man. Some old in back of the pool hall. <laughs> yeah, son. How'd you hit it? <laughs> oh, that's not that. You know, I hit it, Dad. I did what you told me to do. No. Yeah, she's playing. What's her name? Lori Harvey. She's like an up and coming model. Up and, and coming. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, she's. With a bullet. <laughs> It just seems so, Look, so <laughs> sordid. <laughs> you know what it is. Come on, why are we pretending that this isn't what it is? What is it? First off, you got a black man that want to be Hugh Hefner. Eh, wrong move, homeboy. All the niggas you know in Harlem and you want to be like Hugh Hefner? Right. Ah, uh, uh, check right. yourself. Yo, right. from Harlem, nigga. Right. fuck is you doing out there? You, you're not even supposed to be in L.A. Go back to Harlem, man. <laughs> Set up shop up there. Ah, do you oh, want to do that though, do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Hold on. Oh, I got the. <laughs> what? You sent me the picture. Oh, oh, you see the picture of them in hey, the stripes? Man, yeah, yeah, so, man. Hey, man. You see the look on his face? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, you out there. <laughs> well, don't do that, V. You know, your girl's a chef. Your girl's a oh, chef. God. Ain't them chef pants? Oh, them chef pants. Oh. Be diddy. Nah, I ain't gonna get on you, girl. Yeah. I mean, fuck it, though. Come on, man. Look at these motherfuckers, <laughs> man. Yeah. Y'all look like you just leaned on a fucking white fence. Motherfuckers <laughs> 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 well, look ah. like they leaned on a white yeah. fence and was having a conversation <laughs> and shit. <laughs> and then just got off. Like, they didn't look. I love them, man, you know. Well, I don't like stripes personally. I'd never wear stripes. Nigga. <laughs> and supposedly, he apparently asked for asked, asked permission from his son to date her. What did he say? Hey son. Hey son. Hey son. Hey son. Can daddy hit? Bitch, your daddy hit. Son, you don't care about her. I see you with all kind of little girl. Oh my goodness. Don't be mad. <laughs> look, look, we from Harlem, son. Oh, my God. Don't be mad. Oh, my God. And then you wow. took her to that motherfucking white painted fish, fresh paint. <laughs> Did not see the fresh paint sign. 
Fresh baked side, right? It's like, oops, oops. Oh my god. Oh man. Wow. Oh my yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know where Deer this is going. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't he look like? Oh shit. But you know, fuck it, man. Yeah. Hey, paparazzi, man. That, that, that paparazzi is hey, no joke. They out there. But come on, you want that? That's wow. why you out here. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. don't got paparazzi in Harlem. They got right. some niggas that say they paparazzi. <laughs> Yo, son, we paparazzi. Yo, hey, nigga, we paparazzi. Nigga. <laughs> Step the fuck back. Stand over there, nigga. Pose, nigga. You said pose. <laughs> yeah, nigga, uptown paparazzi. Nigga. Yeah, now pose. break your fucking self. Pose. Yeah. Oh okay, so on the, on the relationship oh, thing, another, uh, there's a story, I don't know if you've heard about it, but. I'm not okay. done. This dude's okay, go ahead. getting after your son, you lousy I, bastard. I, the fuck out of here, man. What kind of fucking Roman shit is that? Nigga, just come on, man. What you call it? Roman? It's a yeah, Roman. That's yeah. how they were going to level, but it's like, it's yeah. a Roman. Yeah, okay. That's some other shit, some Greek, some Romans. Yeah. You know how many okay. bras it is in the world? And you peed <laughs> Very tragic. Nigga, right. you could have went down to Brazil and fell in love, nigga. Right. Shit, you could have went down to motherfucking to the slots and swap me and fell in love. Come on, quit playing, man. I you know. don't do that, man. That's, that's, uh, that ain't our culture, homeboy. And if it is, it's not talked about. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> wasn't for yeah, good yeah. reason. <laughs> you better not kill. You better not bring that gal over there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know how Uncle Jimmy is, and y'all won't bring nobody over there, man. I, I, Shit, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I make my dog sit in the car when we go to his house. <laughs> right. You go to Uncle Diddy's house like that, nigga. Get it's my daddy. Oh, man, you ain't never gonna have a bitch. <laughs> and what's fucked up? I'm gonna keep it one hundred with you. Know your daddy, nigga. You you probably hitting after him and keep it one hundred. Cause he just got tired of hiding that shit. Oh my god. You thought you had a girlfriend, nigga. You let y'all play. You know he was telling her every day. Probably after she leave you, like look, I don't know how we gonna tell this nigga, but you know, try to act like you don't like him. <laughs> Uh, you know, start cutting him loose. <laughs> Look, I'm going to tell you, this motherfucker was hard the motherfucker to win. I'm telling you, I was there. You got to just chop this. Hey, nigga, I don't like you. And then don't fuck with him. Meet me, me and Willie Hills. Oh, my God. At the little spot we go to. Crazy. He did. He out here doing. Doing but what do you like for her too? I mean, it's like, why yo, would you want to date your son? Yo, let me tell you. Your, your, let me tell you. Yeah, little mama. Let your me ex tell you is something. A lot of dead. Young, young chicks. You better take a look at these old whores that been out here moving and grooving. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of whores come before you. You and your little yeah. whorish ideas and your little motherfucking. Uh, I'm gonna fucking suck my way to the top, bitch. It might be to the top of Crenshaw. Yeah. <laughs> Standing in a motherfucking Denny's that doesn't have anybody else in it. Yeah. Is this a movie set or yeah. Yeah. Denny's? Yeah. Yeah, you're at the top, all right, bitch. Oh my god. This is the land of horrors. Yeah. This is Hollywood, man. Mm -hmm. You got the fucking horrors from all over the world. The finest horrors. Yeah. The land of horrors. They fucking, they sucking, they're going to make it to the top of somewhere. 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 That's yeah. the thing. See, a lot of these chicks, it's, it's like you, like in Kansas, bad in the motherfucker. Mm -hmm. They had the whole city to know. Mm -hmm. Well, there she is. Hey, hey. Everyone. And then you come out here. Yep. Huh. Just another. A brief motherfucking trip to right. pss, anywhere. Mm -hmm. right. Anywhere. Venice Beach. Motherfucking, uh. What? 7-Eleven. <laughs> exactly. This is the land of horrors. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> sorry to tell you, man, this is who whose stepdaughter is she? Steve Harvey's. Yeah, stepdaughter. You see, come on, man. This is yeah. she you think she's a rookie? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Think this chick is coming in the game uncoached? <laughs> man, let me tell you, bro. You, you get your playbooks out. She is a young horror yeah. with horror backing. <laughs> it's a culture. No. Man, What's let that? me tell you, don't uh, fuck with me. I have relatives, man. I have cousins. I have female cousins. That, what? Mm -hmm. Some of them gorgeous. Oh, they're gorgeous. <laughs> Take it from me, pal. <laughs> 
That pep in your step will be a motherfucking slide in your glide. <laughs> As you walk out the bank, like, you mm-hmm. <laughs> thought I was rich. Uh, no. No, no. No. Oh my this God. is these motherfuckers. That's Steve Harvey's, <laughs> Steve Harvey's stepdaughter. Come on. Come on why, whose daughter is she? Right. Mar- Marjorie Ooh, Harvey. Right. His, his, the, what, his What's current wife. What's her daddy's name? Oh, oh I don't know. See what oh, I'm saying? Know. Come on yeah. now. What the right. fuck ain't you mentioned? Her daddy's a nigga, and me, her daddy, Clyde. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. Sit down, Clyde, man. Shut up, man. That's my daughter. Oh, my God. There's a father out there. Ain't nobody mentioning him, but you mentioning. Well, look, I think you should throw my name in the mix. Read my book. Read my book. I, you know my daughter read the book. <laughs> right. She think like a man. A man will fuck a daughter and a mama. <laughs> oh my so God. So she gonna fuck the son and the daddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I... chapter 11. <laughs> <laughs> look, look here. Now all my children is gonna read this hell book. Yeah. It's your daddy wrote it. That's interesting. Like I'm good. I can't find the ex-husband. <laughs> you won't. Wow. You won't. Do you have a booking oh, number? Oh wait, maybe this is it. Yeah. Maybe it's it. okay. Jim, T- I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? That's it. You said you deserve. Yeah. Booking. Where's um, that homie at? Oh, so Wherever wait. You are, homie. Okay. In a, in hey, a let me tell you. Don't worry about. It. Don't worry about. It. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Cause <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what. Wherever the fuck he's at, he's like yes. <laughs> what? So glad my name didn't come. Yeah. Right. Come on. Cause wow. I know her mama. Well, supposedly she was, Marjorie was at one point married to a a Memphis drug kingpin named Jim Townsend, um, who was, was, um, I guess he was pardoned by Obama for nonviolent drug offenses. (laughs) Connected. Connected to an upright citizen. (laughs) But I don't know if that's her father. It's like Jenga. Uh, One piece comes out, this whole shit may fall. I don't, I don't, I don't know if this is her father or not, but that, that's what well, I'm getting on. Hey, the I don't want to know. Uh-oh. Next topic. <laughs> Hope I didn't ruffle the wrong feather. Uh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Moving on. Okay. So you know, I have no control over what you hear. And what I'm actually saying. <laughs> they can take my voice and make it say anything. <laughs> So, okay, on the relationship topic, okay, so uh, recently, Nicole Murphy, um, Eddie's ex-wife, was caught in a photo kissing Antoine. No, 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 wait, wait, I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, it's not even about that. He's he's married to Lila Rashawn, and people started dragging Lila Rashawn after Nicole Murphy apologized. She said he didn't know he's married. Who cares? My point was they started dragging Lila Rashawn because she's gained weight. And so my question is, in a in a relationship, do spouses have an obligation to keep their physical appearance attractive to one another? Is that what do you think? Hell, goddamn no. Okay, why? They got shit to do with physical. Yo, the fuck out of here, man. Mm-hmm. You don't know who that motherfucker is gonna look like at the end of your marriage. Right. What happens if a motherfucker gets a stroke? Then half your face is slumped. Oh, you didn't plan on being with the broad with the half a slump face. Oh, so now so her face is slumped. You out? The fuck out of here, man. Right. I'm not judging this dude. Mm-hmm. I don't know the relationship. Right. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, I moved past that. It's just know, is a bigger might question. Be like, Look here, yeah. I'm eating hot dogs and hot dogs only. You don't hang around here, motherfucker. You better get a motherfucking hot dog. And if you don't get a hot dog, you better go get a skinny bitch. Because I'm eating hot dog, you punk ass motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, you <laughs> vegan bitch. Hey, hey mama some neck bones. Hey, motherfucker, we eat hot dogs, neck bone, hot meat. Motherfucker, chicken wings. Take your patchouli oil smelling ass the fuck off. Direct your ass to a bitch that want to be healthy. Bitch, I'm having fun. You said to a bitch that wants to be healthy. We don't know that this conversation took place. We don't know anything took <laughs> right. place. I'm just right, saying an right, alternative right. conversation. Exactly, here. right. We but I know. agree with you that the, you, you know, don't know. This is how motherfuckers, they want to have some shit to talk about. Yeah. Right. They want to talk about, I don't even know this nigga Antoine Fuqua, man. I don't even know, man. Mm. These motherfuckers are going to say, now look here. I'm going to put you in a movie. If you, How much can you get me if I put you in a movie? Uh, 
I don't know. Right, right. We don't know, so it's all 100% speculation. Yeah. So that being the case, I'm going to tell you what was going on. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Okay, okay, take a sip. Get it ready. Maybe his wife said, you know what, nigga? Your motherfucking breath is so fucking bad, nigga. I can't fuck with you. <laughs> oh, oh, bitch, you're fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah I could lose weight. <laughs> but every time you talk, Antoine, it's like <laughs> your stomach is like you dying or something. <laughs> the fuck, <laughs> nigga? You've been, I mean, it's like you've been eating, like, like sipping on motherfucking... <laughs> Dead cat smoothies. Or so your <laughs> breath, nigga. It sounds like you're dying or something. I mean, yes, I'm fat. I had a few kids. And let's be honest. Some motherfuckers like a fat bitch. It, it, it don't matter. Uh, she's a broad. That's, she has, she was, she's, she's had her heyday. She don't, she might not give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, that's the thing, man. Oh a lot of women, you see, they talk that shit to somebody like her. I know a gang of fat ass bitches right now. And I'll take you right to him. I bet you won't have all them fat bitch comments for these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> or tattoo comments. Or <laughs> motherfucking. How would you wear that hair? Yeah, you won't say shit. <laughs> you matter of fact, you'll be like, oh, that's nice. I never do that. That's nice. You know? Right, I so, hear you. I hear you. Fuck all of that. People yeah. are people. Who don't give a fuck? Some people don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. So she might be one of those. Right. I'm not gonna, you know. Yeah. You, you make it like it's his man. Who knows? Maybe they just said, maybe you, it could have been years they haven't fucked with each other. Mm-hmm. Right. We don't know, and we talking about Hollywood, man. Right. 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 That's right. the thing. Yeah, that Come on, man. Yeah. These motherfuckers, they they spend when it's time, when lights is on you. Oh yeah. Oh look at them. Who knows what? Hey. Yeah. With me, I don't know if they'll even be a paparazzi. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> no, nah, it's just because no, but the type right. of people I tend to hang around. Right. <laughs> My paparazzi don't want to be around. Right. Right. <laughs> I don't see what they see. I see lovable people. Right, right, right. My people, God damn it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, different. You might get your camera took around. Right? And I really, really don't know who did it. Oh, oh my God! You know that's that's a. But you know there may be a time. You know one one hit movie, mm-hmm. one hit comedy special. Mm-hmm. Ah, right. Uh, right. Mm-hmm. Not playing, movie man. Not movie comedy special. Oh, oh, oh. I mean. 20 some odd years, 25, 26 years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be a movie, motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Not not on the sideline. Mm-hmm. In this shit. Yeah. Maintaining working actor, the unsung hero, <laughs> the underdog, Come on. The, the actor trailer that doesn't have a star on it. <laughs> Cue music. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> right? No, no, wait for it. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> hey, what are you having? Oh, whatever, nigga, yeah, keep that motherfucking, keep residuals coming, whatever yeah. the fuck. Yeah. The actor. Right. Sometimes, and, and yo, the acting shit now is like, huh, this shit is to the birds, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A lot of it is like, I can't even really audition like it's like, hey, right? How? How? Mm-hmm. How can I? It's like I'm doing two acting jobs at once. Right. Right. One, I'm acting this character, and two, yeah. I'm acting like this shit is it's, good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, this shit is bottom of the fucking barrel. Yeah. Right. 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 It's hard because I've been in this shit when the shit was good. Mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. I know what made the good shit. Right. You know. And then you see what they selling. It's kind of like, you know, you. it's like, I don't know, man. It's like, probably like the first motherfuckers that went to McDonald's. Okay. Back in the day, 
Yo, that shit, that hamburger was fucking bang, bang, I'm sure. Right. <laughs> you get a hamburger from McDonald's now, you look at that person like you really just don't give a fuck about me. Right. Mm-hmm. You go so like like when the boys went up there, <laughs> uh, went to the White House when they went. Oh, right, oh right, right, exactly. Right. And then he's get, right. Wendy's, uh, Wendy's like and McDonald's and the food of a dunce. Yeah. <laughs> right. For real. For this real. What a dunce right. eats. For real. This is what a dunce. You get a fucking cone hat when you eat that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's what, you know that motherfucker has a presidential cone hat. Yeah. Yeah. But they never show him with that on, even though he's wearing that the majority of the time. Right. They got some kind of camera trick. Mm -hmm. (laughs) We don't see it. It's like, you know, it's like, it's not even funny anymore. You can't say nothing about that either. Mm Mm-hmm. But, um. I mean, I came way off track. But. Right. You know, you were talking about the difference between good, really good quality um, acting. And, oh, was I? Yeah. <laughs> and you were using the McDonald's uh, analogy to make yeah, the yeah, comparison, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, these motherfuckers <laughs> out here in the fucking land of fucking McDonald's. Man. Right, yeah. right. Okay. Everything. okay. You know what did it? What? That motherfucking uh, bullshit ass motherfucking. Um, Reality TV. Mm, reality did, yeah, 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 exactly. Reality yeah. TV snatched the skirt off this bitch named Hollywood. Yes, sir. It did. What, bitch? You ain't no lady, ho. <laughs> Get the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> Take this dick, <laughs> raggedy bitch. That's what Hollywood is, man. You mm-hmm. trying to? They had it going. Yeah. Y'all thought that bitch was a lady. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lady. A strong woman. No, 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 no. Right. She is a horror. A horror. horror. Hollywood horror. land of horrors. <laughs> Did all that clean up just to have clean horrors. <laughs> we need um, a health tip. <sighs> <laughs> not McDonald's. It's not health tip time. It's health tip I'm time. I'm not like a kid. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone thinks this is always my fault. Like I'm, I'm cutting you short. It is. Sure. It's, <laughs> it's not. Did, she, did you say hey? He's. T- did you have anything truth. to say? Do not. Say I mean, you know that. how I let the whole show go. These niggas talked to all show. I know. I know. I said nothing. I know they did. It was a free for all show. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. It was cool. Yeah, they were. I let them chatty. have a little to get it out this system yeah. because yeah. they were chatting. In a minute here. Shit is about to be ironclad. Okay, just shut Iron it down. Iron fucking clad. Uh, when okay. I guessed. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, this is our 20th episode, season two, 20, the 20th really? episode. Really? So yeah. this should be the last of the fucking season, right? Yeah, the next show will be season three. Next show will be, so, so we might do, well, are we doing the highlights? I'm wrapping up a movie. I'm going to try to get the highlights show done. That's the plan. If not, we'll do a twenty-one, and you know the cool yeah. thing is we can There's do as we can weeks. do as we wish. That's the beauty right. of it all. But we do start season three next week. We start season three next week. Are you in agreement That's with that? He's he's barking shit out, but are you cool with it? You guys ask me. <laughs> I'm, but I'm but I'm now running it by. Remember, we are a team, so I'm running it by Polly. Are you good I mean, with that? <laughs> Are you good with it? <laughs> you know, we eating this motherfucker. <laughs> more, <laughs> more, <laughs> can, more cannabis. Oh my God. Um, we need, weed, we need more we cannabis. Need okay, okay. Okay, sponsors out there, you know, hook us up. Help us out. Let's, let's, I mean, we got a know, lot of cannabis I'm entrepreneurs saying, I mean, out there. Listen, listen, listen. Oh my God. Uh, we might not be right for you. <laughs> on the real. Okay. On the real. Mm-hmm. Just keep it 100. True. The last little venture in that we was too big for them. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's, it, it, it hit them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it hit them. It hit them too much. Like, like mm-hmm. okay, okay. Yeah. Listen, we, it, when it comes to that, you know, we're talking about, um, you know, edibles, mm-hmm. pens. Mm-hmm. That kind of shit. Right. The shit that um, you know, that, that we can actually get in other states. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of our fuck, we got international motherfuckers. Right. Exactly. I mean, we're not. Hey, you know, a lot of the local shit mm-hmm. is too. You know, it's too much for them. Right. right. 
They get Dang. bombarded with motherfuckers. Hello, mate. I'm in Australia. Oh, I <laughs> like a pound of your finest greenery. <laughs> Like, like motherfucker, <laughs> I'm in California. You took up computer space when you know goddamn well you're in Australia. Well, that's what I have you pissed. <laughs> you know, like, hey. So we need uh, we need those weed sponsors, yeah. uh, cannabis uh, entrepreneurs, tools, tools like tools. bongs, lighters, right. all the Some, all the good stuff. Yeah, holler at your boy. We'll make it happen. We you know we'll we'll work something out. We with still we, beneficial. We um still need the health tip. Health tip, the health tip. <laughs> Some, okay, here's okay, the health okay, tip. Okay, 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 go. Roll with the flow. <laughs> okay. Just roll with it. Roll right. with the flow. Right. Throw this throw in the life, clock out. In life, roll with the flow. I like that. Sometimes you just treat yourself. To not being inhibited mm-hmm. by boundaries of time, okay. which mm-hmm. I may add is a man-made concept. Okay, time is a man-made concept. It is like basically the fucking engine rhythm of the matrix. Mm-hmm. Okay. So while we're talking about this, let's hey, say goodbye. Mind you, mind you, I'm a comedian, and I make this up as I go. Let's, so. let's say goodbye, and then we can keep talking about the, 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 the man-made concept we'll here, right, and construct of time. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys. We'll see you next week for the beginning of season three. We'll see you in the clip. <laughs> we'll see you in the clip. He's, he's, he's decided not to talk now. The show's over. Okay. okay, okay. Ta-da. <laughs> now. As we were saying, <laughs> remember Linda's not here. I, I am still here. I'm hey, still here. Hey, how's it going, Ace? You can I talk. Still, the show's I'm over. I'm still here. What's up, old boy? I am here. Yeah, man. Do you hear something? <laughs> I, I hear like a little scratching, here. like something scratching on the side I of the. I am here. I am. I don't. Even though Dominique has turned that camera to you. You hear that? <laughs> I'm like someone here. scratching on a styrofoam, one of those styrofoam coolers. <laughs> oh no! It's like you don't hear nothing. <laughs> Must be me. Wow. Must be all that time wow. I spent in this Fort Seal, is... Oklahoma, <laughs> <laughs> listening to them Howards go off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, well, I'm still here, and I'm not going anywhere. And for <laughs> everybody, everybody who's gonna be like, I'm not going anywhere, y'all. I'm going to be is there here. A straight cat in so here? just deal yeah, with it. Yeah. Someone. Deal with it. And I would be a Rottweiler anyway. <laughs> or a pit bull <laughs> but cats are awesome too <laughs> I was thinking of Bobby Cat <laughs> <laughs> Lynx <laughs> oh. oh wow man that's yeah. some good weed though yes. I yes. need to laugh like that gotcha. you know I thought of you you know a documentary you need to see what's that um, the two killings of Sam Cooke have you seen that on Netflix I have that was good I have, have I seen the two killings? I've skipped oh is it I've skipped over it so many times Wait, is it, is it oh, wait like, hold on and I finally watched it it's so good yeah Sam um, Cooke from what it seems like they, yeah the two killings of Sam Cooke and it talks about his actual murder right and then it also talks about like I didn't realize all of the things that he was doing um, to to bring up people in the industry as far as owning your own publishing um, yeah, artists was, look, uh, all man, of that gotta, yeah yeah yo I saw that that's what they had see they had a picture of Sam Cook Malcolm X yeah. That was and, and um, Jim, Jim Brown, Brown and and Muhammad Ali and Muhammad that was Ali. after the he beat Sonny Liston yeah. yeah, that that now, night they spent together was really I mean, awesome. You know, they, back, hey, they put you on a list and they follow you. They do this and they do that and they do this and they, you know, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sam Cook, but I think what what the the direct it was. I, I, well, who knows? Who the fuck knows? Right. Government, mob, whoever. And and, and what's the difference? Right. <laughs> right. Look, man. When they when these when these motherfuckers. Bring you to the party, mm-hmm. and then they want to dance with you. Beware! Hey, motherfucker! They brought you to the party. You gotta dance with them. Right. I guess I don't know, because if you don't, they will take you up out of this motherfucker. It seems like. Guess what? It That's seems why like. they don't bring me to the party. 
<laughs> Bring my goddamn self to the party. Uh -huh. And I took the bus, bitch. <laughs> nah. I took the bus home, go for you. Right. <laughs> right. I ain't got I don't gotta car. show up. Right, basically. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know? But yeah, Sam Cooke was a dope dude. Yeah, and he it, it was he was he was on he was really on it. They really was on it because he was hitting that gospel market with that ownership. Mm hmm And that's like <laughs> You went after the kid. Yes, exactly. You went after the, the mother load. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? No, they did. He was. It was cool because oh, he was... Uh-oh, what's up? Wow. I did not know about Stacy Harvey. Oh, no, what? Yeah. Oh, I was trying to tell you. But was it high? Wow. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My condolences to the Harvey family, man, to stay home, man. Oh, man, my deepest condolences. Say just been Yeah, that's... Wow, rest in heaven, Stacey Hart. Right. Yeah. That was a, I went to high school with Stacey Hart, man. Stacey Hart was cheap. Straight up dude, stand up brother, man. Good, good, good dude, man. Mm -hmm. That was a, you know. That's where I met yeah. him first when yeah. we did Crosstown. And you know how someone always tells you how big or larger than life somebody is? Yeah. When I met him, I was like, oh my God, it's true. I mean. Stacey Hart was a legend. Yeah. That's the linebacker of linebackers. That was passing bulls of us, Mr. Standem up. Yeah. Did he? On the turkey tussle day. Yeah. Like now what? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Stacy Harvey. Everybody said, "Hey, Stacy, good luck in the game." <laughs> All they can say. <laughs> good luck. Hey. Good luck. What do you mean? That's Stacy. Oh, I didn't see it. Good luck, Stacy. <laughs> Stacy Harvey, man. Right. They don't make him like that anymore, either. Yeah. Wow, man. God rest his soul, man. That's. Wow, Stacy's my age. That's, you know, I'm at yeah. that age. Yeah. yeah. Where it's like, you know what? It's, um, God rest his soul. Is he? It's, uh, it's a good, good life, man. I can't. So I don't know when I'm going. I don't know, baby. Might be tonight. Might be before I hit the car. Yeah. You know, you don't know. We you don't do. know. And that's a blessing. You don't want to know. That's right. That's Shit, right. my brother Stace is good. He's straight. I know he's straight. I know he's straight. He wasn't. Uh, that name didn't ring bells in a bad way. That mm -hmm. name ring bells in a good way. Like, right. Oh, Stacey's there? Okay, then it's thorough. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's official then. Mm -hmm. Stacey Harvey's, oh, it's official then. You know? Yeah. And that's 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 um, a blessing. He lived a, a good life. He lived a good life, man. Because he wasn't out here strung out. Right. He wasn't out here selling his soul. He wasn't out here plotting on scheming. Doing bullshit. That man was stand up, involved in his community, involved with his kids, his family. Yeah. You know, and Stacey, let me tell you, that dude didn't have to be that way. He was one of those. He could have, if he'd have went the other way, oh, we! Oh, we! Oh, we! He didn't have to. And I know several cats like that that are doing it the right way. And it's like, yo, Stacey is, is one of those dudes. God bless. God bless you, brother. You straight. God's got you, man. He's got your family. He's got you. you, you it's it's right. all you. And I, hey, this family, you hold, they can hold their head high. Indeed. They're high. Indeed. They, they pops put it down. Put it down. Where it should be put down. You understand? Yeah. Hats off to my brother, man. God bless. Wow. Mm. Beer, Blair, Marshall, everybody. Everything. Yeah. 
Harvey's yes. Dina Baller to the fullest and stand up dude all the way around.